Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Death Pro Dual video. Zombies, one of my favorite archetypes next to heroes and of course monarchs, uh, if that's an archetype. Um, so zombies, we've got a new uh, zombie in the last and yeah, recent new TCG set. Um, you might have heard it, you might have seen it. It's called Unizombie. Um, it acts like a mathematician uh, when it's summoned, or at least yeah, uh, uh, once per turn you can send one zombie type monster from your deck to the grave. And to pump up uh, a level of uh, a monster on the field. So give it an extra level. Its second effect is that you can discard a card from your hand. Uh, and again to uh, pump up one level of a monster face up on the field. Uh, so Unis... Oh yeah, yeah. That's something I forgot to mention. Is that uh, the card is of, of course very good for a zombie deck. But it has one major downside. It's that uh, when you activate its effect. You can't uh, attack with uh, monsters unless they are zombie types. Um, and that's, yeah, that hurts the deck a lot. Um, an option to bypass this effect is to play the field spell, um, Zombie World. Although, um, yeah, in, in the current format, in the current meta game, Zombie World isn't uh, the big anti-meta card uh, as uh, Macrocosmos or Dimensional Fisher uh, were uh, back then or at least a few years ago. Um, so obviously this kind of deck where, uh, yeah, based around Unizombie and Zombie World is of course much better when the format uh, is hindered or when yeah, the top decks are hindered by playing Zombie World. Uh, but yeah, uh, Unizombie is definitely a nice addition to the deck. Uh, yeah, let's see some tools. Okay, so the first tool, uh, of course, I'll be the one playing with zombies. Your opponent's playing Satellite Knights. Few duels. Um, I can start uh, opening with the Uni Zombies, of course, the best you can send either a Mizuki or a Goblin Zombie to the grave. Preferably, you're going to send Mizuki to the grave. Set up for next turn, since probably your Uni Zombie will get destroyed and you can reborn it next turn with Mizuki. Um, I go for Stardust as the first turn play, uh, backed up with, I believe, the Emptiness and a Fiendish Chain, I'm not sure. Um, this is very unfortunate, attacking into the Dimensional Prison, one of his few outs to get rid of the, the Stardust Spar Dragon. I, get, I try to get something going with a Uni Zombie, banish the Mizuki, get Goblin Zombie on board, go for a, a level, uh, level 8 uh, Synchro, uh, possibly builds a... Um, because of the Torrential Tribute set, but he has an emptiness. Uh, torrential Tribute as a backup, so the field is cleared. Very nice. Uh, top deck into Typhoon. Um, I'm not going to activate it. I don't want to Typhoon something like Call of the Haunted Breakthrough skill, maybe. Um, or at least, yeah, maybe his own Typhoon, so that's why I sent, uh, set my own Typhoon. Um, possibly for later in the duel. Also keep that Foolish Burial in hand, uh, because I think I have a yeah, Mizuki in the grave, or at least yeah, it's some, uh, Mizuki on the field. I have a Uni Zombie set up, and thanks to Foolish, I can set up uh, the Malicious, and that's uh, going to be very crucial, uh, either in this turn, although I top deck Snatch Steel, so this way I can keep the Foolish in hand, I, uh, yeah, there, there's no reason to already make a big play with Malicious, since uh, obviously when I activate uh, my Unizombies effect, I can't attack uh, unless there are zombie types. Um, he dark holes to get his, uh, what's it called, his exceeds effect. His, uh, Deltaos, indeed. Uh, I go for Beazle, of course, for Dark Hole, for Raikeki, something like that. So he has to go for uh, Castell to bounce back the Beals, and now he doesn't have any back row, so perfect opportunity. Because last turn, I believe, I searched out the Plague to set up that malicious play that I was talking about. Uh, very standard. Go for um, a Void Ogre uh, to possibly again uh, bypass something like a Rageki, a Dark Hole, Soul Charge for example, or Mirror Force or whatever. Uh, so there is a Soul Charge obviously going to activate my uh, Void Ogre's effect, negate that one and attack for game next turn. So very good duel, um, a few good plays. Uh, Okay, so my turn again, set the Goblin Zombie, set the Fiendish so it's a very good hand. Um, if the Goblin Zombie gets destroyed, I can search out the Uni Zombie. Already have Mizuki in my hand, also the zombie world, uh, so that's an excellent uh, uh, excellent hand. Um, although he doesn't have a din up on its own, so he needs to, or at least yeah, that slows down the game by a lot. Um, very unfortunate again, he warnings my uni zombie, so I can't set it up. Uh, 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 so normal summon zombie master, yeah, try to activate its effect. 
to discard, I believe, the Mizuki. Again, uh, he has that... Uh, uh, what is it called? The Constellation Factor uh, Alpha. Alpha Nova or something like that? Stella Nova. That's, I believe, its name. Um, so thanks to Unizombie, I can go for Stardust again. And thanks to Zombie World, I can still attack after I used Unizombie's effect. Um, what you can do is uh, first go to the battle phase and then uh, yeah, attack with your monsters and then use your Union Zombies effect since uh, it's, it's something uh, yeah, to, to bypass this restriction. Uh, right? uh, I think I'm forced to finish Shane's Castell and then warning his alt there. I don't want to deal with uh, a second Castell, uh, so normal summon my uh, Uni Zombie. Try to have activate its effect, but he has that main deck Soul Drain, a huge pump for this deck, of course. So I, I think I'm forced to go for Scrap Dragon. Um, Goblin Zombie does not activate because of the Soul Drain, but I think I had to pop his Soul Drain because I think I have a Mizuki in the grave um, again to special summon my Uni Zombie. And set up more plays. Uh, so thanks to Zombie World, I can reborn my Scrap Dragon and set the bottomless. I think so. It's all in all a very good setup. There is his Dana, but of course too late. Obviously going to bottomless that, and I think his back row is a breakthrough skill. Uh, so I can nicely attack for a game again. Again a very good tool. GG. Well played. I think he gets to start. He, no, yeah, he gets to start duality into the. Bottomless Trapple, I believe. Uh, so with Tainab, he's going to search out the Altair and set it to. So a very good setup for him. Uh, then my hand. My hand's also very good with the Uni Zombie uh, to mill the Goblin Zombie. YOLO into Black Rose. I think that's a better uh, option because we know he has a Bottomless set and uh, one unknow unknown card. So it's possibly maybe MST. MST was in the back of my mind. Uh, the biggest chance, uh, maybe a breakthrough skill, uh, prison also, so if it would have been an emptiness, uh, yeah, that definitely would not have been very good. Uh, then again, I have Dark Armed in hand, I have the Snatch Steel, also have Uni Zombie and Burial, Burial from a different dimension to uh, reuse your Mizuki's, very nice. There is a breakthrough skill, uh, so I think I'm forced to activate my Snatch Steel. I think I have uh, two darks in the grave, so the Uni Zombie on my side of the field is the third dark. Um, suicide into the Dweller, uh, again, very nice. Uh, 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 yeah, it's just going to attack and set one back row. So again, uh, a big, big tell that it's uh, that it's the, the counter trap for uh, Satellanites. The, the Stellar Nova, uh, so obviously I'm not going to activate my Dark Armed when he has a Satellanite phase up on the field. Uh, then in main phase two, set up my Uni Zombie and again go for Bilze uh, to have some kind of back row. I have a very big play up next turn with uh, Mizuki with Zombie Master with Burial to reuse my Mizukis. But very unfortunate, he has Dark All and thanks to the 1k damage of his effect. He can attack for a game and uh, yeah, kind of steal the game this way. But then again, uh, yeah, subtle night. So GG, well played, very nice tools. Um, yeah, all in all, I think, yeah, Unizombie is definitely a nice addition to the zombie deck, to zombie art type in general. But uh, yeah, Konami gave the zombie, or at least gave Unizombie a very big restriction that only zombie types can attack after you use its effect. So preferably you're first going to attack and then use its effect. Or if you uh, have your zombie world set up, that's, that's much better of course, since you can immediately attack everything on the field as a zombie type. Um, but yeah, I think it's, it's, it's again, it's, it's refreshing. It's a new uh, concept, it's a new decklist uh, after, yeah, next to Shadal's, uh, uh, Burning Abyss, Glyforts. Uh, it's, it's something new, so I highly recommend testing uh, out Uni Zombie or Zombies back in general. Guys, thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.